Hey everybody, welcome back to Matt Kiteboarding. I'm Tucker, and today I'm going to introduce you to the 2024 North Loft Pro. This is a brand new wing from North, and it is going to change the light wind game for you. Uh, so stick around for this review, and I'll tell you why, show you some of the cool new features on this brand new wing from North Kiteboarding. All right, guys, welcome back. It has been a little while here since we've had a brand new Lightwind wing come to the market. And this year we have a couple of really good ones. And this is one of them uh, coming out this late summer, early fall 2023 is a 2024 North Loft Pro. Uh, this is going to be their new Lightwind model uh, in sizes seven and eight meter. Now we've been testing the seven and the eight, and I have to tell you, we have all been really excited about this new wing and its performance, and some of the cool things that are going on uh, with the design, with the materials they've chosen to make it out of that make it just that much more special. Uh, so some of those things that are sticking out, we'll go over some of the uh, features, some of the new materials here, and then I'll hit you with my review. First, starting out, uh, towards the leading edge, way up there. <laughs> this is a big wing. This one's the eight meter and it is still uh, fairly compact. So it does have a lot of cord length, a long strut here, which on the water really doesn't feel that, that large, which is awesome. Uh, it does come with a wrist leash that works out well. Uh, the new leading edge handle, which you can't really see from here. So let me get this down and show you. Have a newly designed front edge handle here, a little sandy, as you can tell, we've been out having fun with it. It's kind of like a molded foam rubber material. I don't know exactly what they make it out of, but it is a very clean look. It's not just like a normal nylon handle. It is very comfortable, very slim and lightweight, uh, really easy to grab onto and, and it holds its shape so it doesn't deform under your fingers and kind of slip off. Uh, so really easy to control, lots of room in here for a big hand or glove. And then you've got your scuff pad underneath here uh, out of that similar kind of foam rubber material that's not gonna soak up water uh, and get heavy or mildew or anything like that uh, inside of it. So that's a really neat idea from North. Uh, well, we've got this, you know, kind of like this, I guess I'll show you sort of the profile of the, the foil section on this wing. It is very deep. You can tell it's got a lot of dihedral in the shape of the frame, but it, it's almost dead flat across. So what you get there is just a lot of power, a lot of lift out of this wing, even more so than, than most eights out there. So it gets the job done in really super light winds, even for heavy guys like me. All right, so coming down into the handles, these grip lock handles look a lot like what you're used to uh, from the North design. They've been in the lineup for a couple of years now. They're fantastic. Uh, gives you the benefits of a hard handle design uh, but almost boom-like. I mean, they're so long and there's so much real estate to grab onto here. You can hang onto them real close, further apart. You can slide your hand up further in, if you're in an attack or going into the wind or, or flagging the wing out uh, surfing. Uh, so they're really ingenious handle design. Uh, if there's a downside to this handle, longer handle design, it's that, you know, it does add a little bit of weight to the setup, uh, but they've addressed that this year. Uh, with the Pro Series, these are carbon fiber. So these are a lot lighter than years previous, and that's just taken it up, you know, another level for the Pro Series wings from North for 2024. Uh, you're gonna find everything is at the top notch in terms of materials, zero compromises. So with that, carbon handles, just to cut a little bit of weight, make it that much more surfy. Uh, and cutting weight in, uh, in such a large wing is definitely uh, a, good, a good game plan, it's a good, thing to do to make the wing just more fun and easier to fly uh, and just level up that performance. Uh, Cause when you're dealing with a larger wing, it really matters. You feel it more uh, and you're out there in lighter winds, which doesn't carry, you know, its own weight quite as easily. So good move on there. And yeah, just sticking with that tried and true, comfortable, proven handle design and leveling up uh, the construction on those to be lighter weight. Now going into the inflation system, same North inflation system that we've had in the past. I'll give you guys a peek at it here. It is just the Boston style valve direct hose connection here. We also have one of those on the strut as a dump valve or independent inflation if you choose to do so on 
uh, the strut. So if you want to pump those up independently or get a different pressure on those, you can do that. But you can also use them as a one pump because you do have a strut connection hose there. Uh, so if you just want to connect, pump up and go, uh, that is available there. And it does have a hose clamp so that you can isolate those bladders, uh, both to inflate to different pressures, but also uh, if you're going out there and, and want to clamp it off for sake of safety, so you have an isolated inflation system there. So some of the basics of the front end of the wing there. Now we'll get into some of the other neat details they've done this year. Uh, on first look, if you're familiar with North product wings, you might look at the new wing here and say, you know, oh, they made, you know, they made a light wind version of the mode. Um, and while that's sort of true, there's a lot of technology borrowed from the mode uh, in 2023. Um, it's also advanced. It's not just a larger version. It's not just, oh, they threw mode materials on a Nova light wind and called it a pro. Um, this is a completely redesigned wing. Everything about it has, has been redesigned from the ground up. Uh, that being said, you know, there's some inspiration there from the mode and the inspiration from the, the North uh, Nova uh, light wind. So if you liked those wings, you know, there's a good chance that you'd be really stoked on this one as well. First off, probably the most apparent, the Silver Surfer, super shiny, 90s prom tie color frame. <laughs> uh, if you know me, you've seen my mode uh, review in the past, I love the North Enweave material. It's just a brand new, really innovative material for winging, designed specifically for winging. Uh, and North has taken it to the next level this year. Uh, so if there's been any issues uh, with the Enweave in the past, it's that it is harder to work with when they're manufacturing it. It's less consistent than what they like when they're putting wings together. So there's more rejects, you know, there's more wings maybe that get to the market that aren't quite perfect. For the new model with the Nweave 45, that's been really eliminated and completely improved. Uh, so what you have here is an Nweave uh, textile material and it's backed uh, with an X-ply material uh, in the 45 bias. And you can kind of see that here uh, with that sort of cross hatch pattern on the, on the material here. It looks really cool. Uh, almost kind of like dragon scales or something is pretty neat material. Um, but what that does is it holds the material in more consistent fashion. It allows you more stiffness in the twist and just really gives you a more direct, consistent frame um, and, and a frame that's gonna last longer, have fewer issues, you know, cause we really do beat on these style of wings, especially with the mode the style where you're always riding them overpowered. You're always riding them at the top level and, and hitting the water and crashing them into waves and stuff at, at high speeds and whatnot and from really high jumps and, and all that. So there, there's a lot of punishment that goes into those wings. So I think that's, you know, part of the, the reason behind it. But the new NWE 45 is, is just another improvement on top of that. Uh, it's gonna mean you have more consistency in, in the product from, from the factory one to another, uh, fewer issues out there and, and just an improved product altogether with the way it goes together and you know, it's really just leveled up the stiffness and one thing i definitely realized especially on a light wind wing that you're pumping more um, is it's a very snappy responsive type material you know it's very stiff but it, when it does flex it just wants to reflex back into position with a lot of energy and it's very very snappy is the best way i can say that uh, and it's very active as a material it's not just bleh, 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 bleh. it's snap, snap, snap. And it just wants to really, you know, give the energy back when you put into it, when you flex it in, it flexes it back. And when you're pumping or when you're riding powered, that is a very exciting and, and active feeling wing. It's a wing that feels, you know, like it's, it's high performance, you know, all the time. Even when you're going at slow speed and trying to pump it up, you know, you really feel that performance in the wing. So it's pretty special. I can't say, you know, there's there's much else out there that, that has that feeling, especially in such a large wing. So we've, we've talked about the Enweave 45, another special material they're using, and it may not be immediately apparent on paper uh, or in a video, but they have a brand new canopy here. So this is called the Matrix Canopy, and they've specifically selected this canopy for wings. It's about three times uh, stiffer in elongation. Um, so for a canopy material, that's a very uh, important number. It's, it's gonna mean you're gonna get more stiffness, more responsiveness, a more active canopy, and something that's gonna last longer. It's not going to bag out or elongate as quickly. So again, 
you know, if you're a high performance rider, you're riding fast or you're riding a huge wing and maybe you're a heavier rider, you know, it's just putting more load into the canopy, uh, then having a really stiff, uh, long lasting canopy is really important, uh, not only for performance on the front end, but also performance on the back end so that, you know, a year down the line after you have however many sessions into it and however many hours that it's still performing like it was out of the box and not all bagged out and sagged out and just kind of not what it once was. So stiff frame compiled with a stiff, tight canopy uh, is, is going to give you that kind of performance over the long run and keep you happy with the purchase for a long time. So we're really stoked on that. You know, again, comparing back to the mode last year, which was such a benchmark wing, such a phenomenal wing, one of my favorites. You know, if there's anything that could be said bad about it, I think it's just that the canopy being a normal ripstop material, and, and it's a wing that you're constantly flying at the top end of the wind range. You know, if you're if you're somebody that's serious about going fast and riding hard uh, and riding smaller foils and whatnot, you know, you're always at full load in that canopy, and the the canopy material was fatiguing a little faster than the frame was. So, you, know, you just get a little bit more of a bagged out canopy over time. And really that's to be expected with ripstop, you know, if you're riding it like that and putting that many hours into it, but you know, North seeking to improve and, and keep, you know, their wings in the market as long as possible and, and people happy without having to reinvest in gear every single year. This matrix canopy aims to do that. And, you know, looking at it, feeling it, riding it, I, I think they nailed it. And uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see, I guess, a few years down the road, five, six years down the road, if somebody's riding it hard, how it holds up. But I have high hopes. The factory tests definitely point to that. And uh, I think it's a, a definite, you know, good step forward uh, in materials for this type of a wing and for their other high performance wings. But important to say that it's still very lightweight. Uh, even with the added X-ply, the upgraded canopy, this, and, you know, this wing is still much lighter than most wings of this size on the market, you know, compared to a mode versus, uh, you know, a 2024 mode pro, uh, the mode pro is going to be, you know, maybe incrementally heavier because of the, the upgraded canopy, but most of that's negated by the carbon handles. So it still feels very light. And, uh, you know, for this model, you know, definitely carries its weight easily. Uh, def doesn't feel like an eight meter when you're flagging it out or when you're whipping it around doing maneuvers. So pretty stoked on that. Going into some of the more basic stuff here, we have two removable fiberglass battens on each side of the canopy here. Uh, I have been riding this wing with a harness line. It is very happy to do that. Um, I had my harness line attachments kind of right here and then maybe an inch to two inches up depending on how powered I was on the front handle here. Uh, so really easy to find that right you know, inside the stanchions uh, and, and, you know, maybe adjust slightly forward on that if you're a little bit more powered up uh, on this particular wing. And it has a very large sweet spot. Um, so riding this wing, you know, some wings are very finicky about where you hold the handles, what angle the sail is at. You know, to get the optimum power and upwind ability and whatnot, it's important on any wing, but this particular wing I find has a huge sweet spot. Uh, part of that is because of the shape of the wing and the total outline, but also because of the foil section and the shape of this foil section. It's not overly aggressive, it's very deep, uh, but it's just a really efficient, powerful foil section. And what that gives you with that sweet spot is just ease of use. You know, this is a, a wing that a pro level rider, you know, is definitely gonna appreciate in light winds, but it's also a wing that I can hand to a brand new rider, you know, on a paddle board on their first day, never sailed anything in their whole life. It has a huge sweet spot, which just means, you know, it's not finicky about the sail angle. You know, it, it doesn't want a front stall. You can put your hands here or here or here, and that might slightly change, you know, how much pressure you have to put in each hand, but it's not finicky about it. It's really, you know, hold it up and go, plug and go, pull and go, whatever you want to call it. And uh, that power is very lifty and grunty. Uh, which is a lot of times what you want from a big wing like this, especially if you're not, you know, a skilled rider, you haven't built that technique and that pumping ability quite yet. This wing is just so easy. I was out in uh, about 10 knots the other day with a 1300 foil. I rarely had to pump more than twice, you know, from a standstill to just mm, mm, up. And it just has that acceleration, it has that power. 
You don't need to do all these, you know, really quick short pumps or any specific type of pump. It's not, you know, overly specific about the sail angle. So it's, it's just really user friendly and easy. And I think that's what a lot of riders want in light wind, you know, especially if you're looking at the, you know, the mass market, which, you know, isn't a pro level rider quite yet. You know, just having something that gets you on the water, reliably having fun, getting you on foil and helping you progress without the, you know, anxiety of, I better not try something new. I might not be able to get back on foil. The lift, or the, excuse me, the loft just gives you that confidence and performance to just go out there on the lightest days and feel really in charge and, and in control. And uh, I really can't say enough about it. It's been one of the best wings I've flown for light wind. There's some other wings that have, you know, different advantages, but I mean, if you're looking at, you know, 2024 wing, Looking at one of the best light wind wings in the market, this is definitely in the conversation. Uh, and I expect that we'll do a video outlining some of those comparisons here in the near future. So watch out for that. Uh, you know, we might compare this to a F1 Strike CWC or a Duotone, Duotone Ventus uh, or perhaps a Reed and SSD, something like that. So look forward to that video where we're gonna compare across lines uh, and across brands uh, to show you, you know, which one might be right for each rider. But, uh, I can confidently say, you know, basically anybody looking to ride in light wind can pick up a loft wing in a seven or eight meter, depending on their size and the wind and their conditions uh, and feel really comfortable with it. Uh, me at 200 pounds, usually I'm gravitating towards sevens. You know, I have some pumping technique. I've been doing this a while. I can usually make a seven work pretty darn good. In this particular model though, I think I'd go eight. It's so compact and I do find the eight gives me a little bit more low end. Um, which is rare, you know, it, with a lot of wings, I can get just as much low end, just pumping a seven good. But this particular wing, yeah, the eight is just so special as a heavier rider, uh, wanting to ride smaller foils and wanting to ride in the least amount of wind possible. Uh, here in Michigan, you know, we get a lot of days that are, you know, we'll say six to 12 kind of wind uh, during the spring and summer here. And getting out on those days where it's beautiful, it's sunny out, the water's warm, you can ride board shorts. Having a wing like this is key to having those sessions and making sure that you're getting out there frequently uh, when you're outside of our season. So yeah, I think the eight meter is it for me. Uh, maybe further testing required and, and maybe you know a bit of a uh, spoiled shot brat there. Uh, I'd be definitely happy on the seven or the eight and can get you know below 10 knots for sure on either one. But uh, yeah, for me the eight, just had a little bit more ease of use uh, at my weight and the type of foils I want to ride. So I think the eight would be the choice for me. Uh, and then maybe pair that with a Mode Pro, uh, which we'll be doing a separate review on here shortly. So hang tight for that one as well. Uh, and more of the 20, uh, excuse me, 2024 North uh, product release uh, this, this early fall, late summer. So hang tight for that. What am I missing? Anything? I will mention their bag, nice quality bag for this. And, uh, one thing that I can say is nice is it's a big wing. It's got a big bag so that you don't need to fold this thing like origami to get it in here. Uh, you still want to, you know, fold it, fold it nicely and push the air out to get it in here easily. But, uh, it's an appropriate size bag for a large, a large wing which is not always something that you're gonna find from every brand. So good job North, thinking it through, making sure people have uh, you know, the right bag to make it easy and fun. Um, I always like to say something bad about a wing uh, in, in any product I'm reviewing or something maybe I don't like. Um, honestly, I have a really hard time finding it on this wing. Uh, as I said, it's, it's one of the best light wind wings I've ever flown. So it's hard to complain about that. The price point is really friendly for something with advanced materials like this. I mean, you're gonna find comparable wings that are near $3,000 and, and this one's uh, right around 14, 1500 bucks, uh, somewhere in there. So it's, it's a really uh, budget friendly wing considering the quality and the technology you're getting in it. Uh, so I think, you know, it's a heck of a value uh, in the market and, you know, similarly priced to a lot of Dacron wings and ripstop wings. Uh, that are out there. So you're just getting that upgrade basically at the same price uh, as well as the carbon handles, which is not a uh, which is not a cheap upgrade for some other models as well. Shoot, if I had something to complain about, I don't know, the leash, you know, is just kind of a basic leash, I guess. It fits nicely. It fits around wetsuits. It's reliable. Um, personally, I tend to prefer like the rope style. I'm steel rope with a bungee inside and this one's like the nylon cord, which is 
Sometimes gonna wanna slip through your hand and sometimes the, the interior cord breaks on these. But that's a pretty nitpicky thing on something, you know, that they kind of throw in for free just to make sure you have everything you need. And it's also a safety feature. Um, it's a reliable wing or a reliable uh, leash, but uh, I guess really that's all I could say bad about it. I, honestly, I don't have any complaints. Um, some people would say they'd like to see windows on this canopy, uh, especially if they're racing maybe or, or riding in tight groups. Um, personally, on a light wind wing, I don't wanna have a window. It just, there's so much canopy there, even with a window on it, it has to be huge to even be useful a little bit. And, you know, again, I'm just a proponent of looking under the wing uh, you know, to be safe and see everything rather than just, you know, blinders uh, before you make a move to, to pull into a jibe or attack or something like that and to keep out, you know, look out for any, anything else that you might need to worry about. Um, you know, you're traveling forward, you're always looking in front of the wing, um, so typically it's not an issue to have visibility. Um, and really adding a, a big window to this wing is really going to kill a lot of that magic from this special uh, matrix canopy and add a lot of weight to a very large wing so for me you know it's a personal opinion i don't want to see a window you know maybe there's some other people out there that say hey it should have a window uh, and i'd love to hear from you guys if, if you guys think this should have a window put it in the comment section below i can pass that on to the north team uh, for future consideration if that's something you think needs to happen but Personally, uh, especially on a bigger wing like this, I'm a no window guy, so I think they nailed it. So I guess that's that's the only bad I could say about it. It's a beautiful wing. It's a really cool colorway. It only comes in the one color, uh, so you don't need to agonize about which one to pick. And uh, it looks awesome on the water. It goes with you know just about anything really. So it is what it is, and just pick the size that works best for you. This has been Tucker with MattKiteboarding.com, and we'll see you next time.